OSHA has announced it's proposing fines of more than $200,000 for Dyke in America in Decatur. This comes after two of three workers exposed to chemicals died. What we know so far. News 19 at 4 starts now. You're watching North Alabama's news leader. This is News 19 at 4. They don't expect to be killed. They expect to go to work and there is some risk. But uh, suffice it to say, no one knew that they were at risk of an exposure that could take someone's life. That was attorney Kendall Dunson, who represents the family of one of two men who died following a chemical exposure at Dyke in America in July of 2021. Wesley Rusk and Will Delishaw were hospitalized following the exposure. Rusk died, Rusk died in August and Delishaw died in September of last year. Delishaw's family sued the company before his death, and that case is pending. And while that lawsuit continues to play out in court, OSHA has issued its findings in its investigation of that chemical exposure. That tops News 19 at 4 today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Christine Killemeyer. And I'm Jerry Hayes. The agency is proposing fines of $232,000 against Dyke in America. News 19's chief investigative reporter Brian Lawson joining us now. Brian, what is OSHA claiming happened? Right, so the agency says the company exposed three workers to toxics, toxic and hazardous chemicals on July 2nd. It says the company failed to provide appropriate protective equipment and implement safe practices. Now, the OSHA news release says two workers died sometime after the exposure, while a third worker was hospitalized but later returned home. They say the incident occurred during maintenance activities. OSHA says Dykin, quote, failed to perform air monitoring to assess chemical exposures, provide written procedures that clearly identify the required level of respiratory protection, and communicate to the workers hazards associated with the chemicals. Dyke in America provided a statement saying it mourns the loss of two of its finest members, Wesley Rusk and Will Delishaw. The statement also reads in part, quote, Dykin has received the report from the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and its conclusions have been posted and are being reviewed. Because this matter may later involve litigation, we are necessarily limited in our comments at this time. However, what we can say at this time is that we strongly disagree with OSHA's conclusions because we believe they are mistaken. We recognize OSHA's authority and will continue to work with OSHA toward resolution. Now, OSHA cited Dykin for nine serious violations and one willful violation. The company is also facing a wrongful death lawsuit from an alleged prior chemical exposure in 2019.